Hey guys, we're gonna shoot a quick video. I'm just gonna draw a little circuit showing you how I do my free switches. I have these little free switches that are sold by EWC and I'll put a little image of them up on the screen. This little disc on off free switches that I set to go off around 35 degrees. And what that means is they open at 35 degrees and they close at I think it's around 55, 52, 55, somewhere in there. So I'm going to show you how I put them into the circuit. What I typically do is I will put them in the Y, and we're talking about Y as an equaling the contactor circuit. That way it will shut off the AC. If you shut off everything, like with the red, you don't have the blower to help everything thaw out if you're having a freezing issue. If the blower is left running, it will warm the sensor back up and we'll start the process over then what you don't want to do is have it shut off and on back and forth over and over again so let's say you have your free switch and we're just going to make it look like this it's a poor representation with a little clip on the bottom of it where it clips onto your suction line leaving the coil let's say it's clipping onto your suction line leaving the coil and you have two wires and what we're going to do is we're going to have our little delay on brake right here with our two terminals on it and then we'll have a timer in the middle that we can set. So let's say we set the timer and this is just like a little ICM and we'll put a little image of that on the screen as well. This is a little ICM delay on break. So we have the two wires coming off of that and we'll say we want to do it for five minutes. Just so the system is offline for at least five minutes so it doesn't cut off warm up quickly, cut back on, over and over again. Because that's what, if the blower goes out or something like that, it's going to run, freeze, and it'll thaw out pretty quickly. So we have two wires here. And basically we're just doing a Y circuit. We have our Y1 coming from the AHU, our air handler, or furnace. We have our Y1 that's going to our condenser or a heat pump and then we have let's see our Y1 from the thermostat so we have Y1's going to each one usually these locations are that you got power sent to the thermostat but sometimes you have a Y1 sent to the air handler as well for the ECM blowers it's not as big of a deal because you can still have them run at that speed you just want to separate that signal before it gets to the condenser. So, you know, your air handler, you have your R and it's sent to the... Oh, no. You have your R and it's sent to the thermostat, to power the thermostat. But then when you hit the cooling and the cooling comes on, it's going to send a Y1 signal to your condenser, typically. And sometimes it's going to send a Y1 signal to the furnace as well, but we're not concerned with that. That's going to tell the ECM blower to run at a certain speed, if you have that. PSC, that's irrelevant. They'll run directly into it. So we have our two wires here, two wires here. So we're going to run that Y1 directly to the one side of the free switch. So to come out the other side of the free switch and run over here to the delay on break. It's going to run out of delay on break and go into what other device? Maybe the float switch will be right there. And it's going to run out and go to the condenser. Now the other one can run to the furnace. That's not a big deal because that's not that has nothing to do with the actual operation of the compressor. It just has to do with the ECM blower motor. Our Y1 is going to go to the free stat. I mean, you can do these in different order too. If you want the float switch to be controlled by this five minute timer as well, you can move it over here. Then you have the float switch here. So if it shuts off, it's going to give a five minute delay as well. But if you want to make sure the timer only does the freeze stat, I mean, you can put the float switch on this side of the timer. So we're going to have Y1 signal going to the freeze stat. If it's closed, because it's warm enough on the pipe above 35 degrees, it's going to let it pass in and out of the timer. After the timer removes its five minute warning, it's going to go on to the float switch and then head on to the unit as long as the float switch isn't blocked. That's about all you need to do. I mean, you can also use the ICM-222 
and we'll go into that at a different time. This is just a little basic diagram of how to do a free stat that have a little bit of delay on it so it doesn't keep turning on and off. This, however, will keep on and off in the five minute intervals unless you add something to shut the system down on the event of several open free stats.